विद रेफरेंस टू अवर प्रीवियस एक्सप्लेन्ड स्क्रू काउंटर नाउ वी डेवलप ए न्यू स्क्रू काउंटर व्हिच इज कॉल्ड ए टी डैश जीरो टू सीरीज स्क्रू काउंटर डैश वी वन सो दिस सीरीज एक्चुअली इनकम्पेटेबल विद द ओल्ड फीचर वी डेवलप ए न्यू काउंटर विद द टाइमिंग फंक्शन so timing function will help actually you know that uh, to detect if any, there is anything wrong like you know so short screw or maybe screw is tilted you know and top reach but screw is tilted so timing is not matching means something is wrong with that so this timing function can be very useful so we are not explaining the whole menu but we are coming to the timing function straight away because whole menu we have already explained in the uh, beginning of the video so t T1 is basically a function where you can uh, enable and disable the uh, timings, you know, uh, timing function. For example, there are uh, you are using some timing function uh, counter, but uh, all of a sudden you find that uh, uh, you know this job don't need timing function, so you can disable also timing function, so the counter will behave like a normal counter. And you can enable disable by using this key, up and down key. Okay. then uh, uh, if you press the menu the next is tp tp is a timing program so that means 0 0 means uh, there is no program already inside but if it is uh, like 0 1 or something so that means you know you have a already existing program in this okay and after tp you uh, put the menu button it is come total time total time we have two mods one is 0 1 that means the mod to complete the full job for example you have three screw it will calculate the total time but in between it won't stop anything after completion of the job if the time is matching then it will be able to say okay otherwise it is not okay okay and the same way we have a uh, 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 two in the second program in this in this mod we calculate uh, uh, each screw timing and total timing plus sequence for example this is useful for example you have three type screw one screw two screw three screw but the screw sizes are different for example these are the three screw uh, they these are two type of screws so it will if you program bigger smaller and smaller then operator has to maintain the sequence bigger smaller smaller so that you know your sequence can be maintained if we, if it is not meeting that requirement it will also show not good after this uh, function we have the next function tolerance so default tolerance is 10 but you can increase and decrease the tolerance the tolerance is basically for example this takes 2 second for example so this is in percent this is 10% of 2 second so you can give the 10% of 2 second as in a tolerance so that you know if small uh, he, here and there it will it will take it as an okay signal So you can program it uh, up and down, whatever you want. You want to give lower tolerance, you can give the lower tolerance. You want to give more tolerance, you can give the more tolerance. Okay. And then this is a uh, this is a new mod. It is called RT. RT is the run time. We put it as an ten ten second. Ten second means you know if screw continuously run for ten second, it will indicate uh, you know that this is there is something wrong. That means the screw is already free. okay but you can always uh, program this uh, run time also as per your requirement okay so showing you about you know uh, how to program the timings uh, small small clip we are creating uh, now this is actually we created a jig you know where there is a sensor which will indicate that job is you know placed so that you know it will give the signal output to uh, to the counter uh, switch on it comes over here okay now we switch on the job present so there is a dot coming means you know it's in train mode so now we are uh, making a three screw in the counter now this has uh, green indication means you know all the three screw timings has been taken already as a program okay so now we will show you uh, uh, the teach mode uh, uh, timing uh, function in which we are setting the timing uh, to 0 1 that is the first time for the total job 
how it will detect the total timing of the job. So total timing is done ok now it is showing ok now we will in the second mod we will use the two same screw one is the long screw and we will show you how it will detect the total timing Now because one screw was bigger, so the timing is out, out of the range, so it will show no good signal, that shows fail. We have now set uh, second function of uh, timings, in which it will uh, check the timing, total timing and each screw timing. In this mod, actually we are using three screw, one is the bigger one, so we will put first screw as per the programming and second screw auto programming so this counter will indicate uh, error on the screw itself oh it shows the error when the screw is bigger than the programming timings each screw programming now we will set uh, uh, you know uh, uh, teaching for the two screw one is big one is small right so first one will be big the second one will be small and if there is any sequence change it will also catch the sequence we set the counter to do counter number two and we are putting it into teaching mode this arrow this uh, small dot shows that it is in teaching mode First we put small, then we put, since we put uh, you know the bigger one on the first point and the second one on the uh, smaller one on the second point. So now we are putting smaller on first point and the bigger on the second point. If by chance operator make a mistake, it will give the indication that wrong screw put on the wrong location so it that means it it is maintaining the sequence now we will show you uh, the free rotating screw what we are uh, using to simulate is you know we take the bigger hole so that screw is not tightened and just free free rotating inside just to show you then how it is detecting and uh, we will use the same program Now it is rotating free. After 10 seconds it shows, okay fail. That means that the job is already gone, screw is free. 